An example of someone violating someone's rights is when a police officer pulls you over while driving in Illinois. The police hear a license plate and the cop said that I can't drive here without an Illinois license plate. The police arrest you for that. I get it right now. Police cannot arrest you for that. That's... This is just doesn't make no sense at all. You can drive whatever you want, no matter what state license you have. That is true, Colin. Yeah, because if this happens to me, I don't even know what to do if a cop violates my rights. If this happens, you should consult a defense attorney right away. It is possible for the charges against you to be thrown out if a lawyer can prove that police misconduct occurred. Sounds good. I will do my best to fight my rights. Because I am right. Correct answer. If I get all the questions correct, this means I fought for my rights. Okay, so, have you ever... Okay, so, have you ever experienced that someone is violating your rights? Well, Looks like you got a pop quiz or test that you need to take to order to fight your rights. Is to get all the answers right. Get as many right answers as possible. If you get them all right, mostly right, then you fought with your rights. Now that really shows what being an American citizen is about. Ha 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 ha, that's a funny political joke I came up with. Thanks, but you don't look like you're laughing. I don't laugh. I'm not a comedian. I'm just a teacher teaching you about government. You're right, you're just a teacher, knowing everything about the American government. Okay, all of you people, we have run out of time, and we will continue this lesson on Monday. The bell is going to ring any moment. Have a good weekend, everybody. It's finally the weekend. Say goodbye to the weekdays and hello to the weekend. Here is home where the weekend will begin. Here it is to my PC, and I'm gonna be playing Warner Bros. Smash Multiverse. I am going to be Batman. It's not who we are underneath. It's what we do that defines us. He looks like he's ready to fight for Gotham City. Ooh, we got one point. Looks like Jake didn't stretch far enough. Yes, we won. In ooh, you might have won. Well, that was worth it for fighting for Gotham, my favorite DC superhero. Hmm, I wonder who could that be? I wonder if it's going to be Stuart. If it's Stuart, then we're gonna totally gonna hang out with each other together. Alright, alright, okay, okay. Let's see. I please hope, I hope Stuart, who's at the door right now. Hey Stevie, I'm surprised that you showed up at my door. What's going on right there? And what are you holding? Let me inside the house so I can explain something nice. Hmm, something nice, eh? Well, come on in and explain to this pink ketchup or ranch flavored sauce, whatever it is. You could just come to the living room and talk about this pink thing, whatever. Hmm, maybe I do know what that is. I think I saw this from a TikTok trend. All right, Stevie, can you tell me what that thing that you're holding is? I'm guessing that's a sauce. I see the color pink. That is something, it looks something gooey inside of there. It's, I'm guessing, calling it pink, pink sauce. And I didn't even realize before that was from a TikTok trend. It is pink sauce. It even says pink sauce on it. Yep, I see. Correct. Pink sauce. 
I just got it the day after school. It arrived around 2.30. But I'm glad to show it to you. And I can't wait to try it. So what food did you put on your sauce? I think chicken. French fries. Ooh, just like ketchup. This is the same comment of the pink sauce between ketchup. But I must leave the sauce without any food. It's like pink shoes. Okay, that's kind of disgusting. It's like, like eating the whole ketchup sauce in the bottle. And plus, I don't think it's a healthy choice of doing that. And you said you mostly eat it? But bro, you you said you, you you can't wait to try it. Like, bro, this does make no sense. I meant I will mostly eat the sauce without any food on it. Because I think it's gonna be yummy. Yummy when you put on chicken and french fries like you said it would be. Well... Yeah, that reminds me back when I ate the entire sauce in the ketchup bottle, which I said it's yummy. Wait, 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 wait. You ate the entire sauce of the ketchup bottle? Yes, I did. My god, bloody hell. That is so disgusting. You're absolutely disgusting if you did that. I mean, literally, why? Why would you even do this? I ran out of tomato juice. Really? Tomato juice? You ran out of tomato juice, so that's why you ate the whole sauce of the ketchup bottle? My god, this is such an unhealthy choice of you to do. Well, I'm going to try it. Hold on a second. How come Stuart isn't here with you? Um, I just texted him before he, you came over. And then, he said that he wasn't feeling very well. Well, okay. Time to try this pink sauce. Hey, aren't you gonna dip some food into your pink sauce? Because the pink sauce is considered as, as a dipping sauce? No, I'm gonna eat the sauce. Oh, he's eating like a pig. Is he that really excited of eating that pink sauce? It's like giving dogs treats. Well, Stevie, how's it taste? Does it taste like something that comes out of the unicorn's ass? It tasted so tangy, sweet, and it's amazing. This is the best thing I ever tried. I love you, pink sauce. Uh, this is getting pretty weird around there about that pink sauce. He's loving the pink sauce. What is it, like, a retarded man marries a pink sauce? He marries a sauce? I'm gonna drink the whole thing in the bottle. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. This is an unhealthy choice. No way he would do that. That would, that is so so disgusting. I mean, what the hell is wrong with this kid? He really lost his goddamn mind. You really slurped the whole bottle, didn't you? Yes, it's so good. I think I want to order more to taste the pinkness. Discover the pink. Taste the pinkness. I love this product. The pinkness is about the flavor. The goodness in it. I'm gonna buy more pink sauce. I'll buy a hundred of them. Okay, I have my mom's credit card numbers typed in. 
the location address is typed. And transaction completed. That cost about $2,000. It should be there on Wednesday. Yes, after five days of waiting, it's finally here. The pinkness is what I have been waiting for. Pink means it's sweet. What are all of these boxes that Stevie is carrying? That's an unusual moment. I better go check what's up with him. Look at all of the pink sauces. There are so many of them. That's a hundred. Or I say 101 pink sauces since I ate one five days ago. Stevie, open up. I wanna know what's inside of these boxes, and I have other things I need to talk to you about. Mom, not right now. It's none of your business. It is my business to make sure that you're not up for something bad. Mom, please go away. I wanna be alone right now. All I want to know is something inside these boxes. Mom, like I said, it's none of your business. Fine. I'll leave you alone. Finally. She's gone. Now I can have fun with my pink sauces. Here I come, pink sauce. <laughs> Whoa, 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 This is so crazy. I got the pink sauce fever. It tastes so amazing. This made me want to do something pink crazy. I'm spilling pink. I'm painting my wall. Look at all the pinkness on my wall. It's pretty. Pink sauce makeup. I wonder how Stevie is doing, Stuart. Let's go see how he's doing and what's he doing right now. We're going inside of his house. Yo, Stevie, are you in your room? Because we want to see if you want to hang out with us. Stevie? on here and what is all with the pink sauce oh my god so repulsive bro he has so many pink sauces like why does he have so many pink sauces for well Stuart, he tried that pink sauce from that trend from summer of 2022 and he tried it and he went crazy and says it's so amazing that he wants to order a hundred of them I already know what pink sauce is. It's just a sauce that you put into any food like pasta or dip it into chicken. It's it's like a, it can be like dipping sauce. Yeah, but this is way too much. And he, he said he's going to eat it, which is it's super unhealthy. Maybe Lenny will explain this to see what are the side effects of the pink sauce. Just look at Stevie. There's something completely wrong with him. I am in the pink sauce fever. We'd better go talk to him about this stupid pink sauce thing that he's ordered completely too much. Stevie, are you completely out of your mind? Well, I mean, look at your room. It's completely painted in pink sauce splatter. Like... You order, like, a lot of these. Are you out of your mind? Pinky, pinky, pinky sauce. It's so good. This guy is completely out of his fucking mind. Like, what was he thinking? Like, is he, like, some kind of, like, a toddler or something? He, he behaves like a toddler. We gotta let Lenny see this. Hey, Lenny, you gotta come over to Stevie's house. It's gonna be insane when you go to his room. His room? What's gonna be insane about his room? You'll see. Just just come down to Stevie's house and look at his room. You'll be freaked out. You'll be so shocked. Okay, I'm on my way. 
Hey guys, I'm here like you told me to come, so I'm here. What's so insane about Stevie's room? Oh my god, oh my god, what the hell? What the hell did this idiot do? See, I knew you are gonna be in shock like this. It's so insane, right? Yeah, this is completely insane. I know, right? He, he can, he said he consumes a lot of it. He loves eating this, and that's why he ordered a hundred of them. Yo, I had done some research about this pink sauce ever since has been going viral on trend on TikTok. And I found out some of the health, the side effects are bad. A professor and food safety specialist at North Carolina State University said the pink sauce concerns are valid because of its unknown pH levels. Unknown pH levels. Huh. In some cases, raw honey can cause botulism, an extreme case of food poisoning due to the natural bacteria that exist in it. Bridget Joseph says. Oh my god, he consumes so many of these things. Now, he, he's definitely likely gonna get food poisoning for that. Yeah, most likely. Joseph says, It's absolutely not safe to buy an unregulated food from strangers on social media platform just because it has gone viral, she says. Well, yeah, guess that makes a point. We better go see what, who is in charge of this pink sauce thing. I'm sorry about that guys, but the owner of the pink sauce is not available right now. It's just me that I'm the manager. Aren't you the guy who always lies a lot when you're little? Because I can see that you have a very long nose, sir. Excuse me, but that is very rude about talking about my looks like that young man. Sorry, I just like to be funny. Anyways, Faraka Shaw, also known as Chef P, is the responsible who created the pink sauce, a private chef in Miami. If it's a private chef, then why is the pink sauce went viral all over the internet? Private chef is employed by a single household who cooks meals every single day for other people who live in the house. But that's different. The chef started to promote this pink sauce thing in June and slowly releasing strings of featuring the sauce, trying to fit it into different foods and displaying the packages. But this largely because of Chef P refused to share how exactly the sauce tastes. Well, our idiot friend Stevie tried the pink sauce and he said it tasted sweet. And he goes crazy because he said it tasted amazing. And buys a hundred of the pink sauce to crave into his belly for the flavor. And he makes a big mess in his room going over crazy over the pink sauce fever. And the sauce is not even approved by the Food and the Drug Administration. Which food expert says it's not safe to eat. And if you order them online, it could be delivered as rotten sauce. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that the chef was actually been a chef for four years and had her own restaurant before she had to shut it down due to the pandemic of COVID? So her friends encouraged her to mass produce her famous pink sauce. Doctor, can you tell me what's wrong with my son? Well... Your son is suffering a rare poisoning caused by toxins produced by Clostridium botulinum bacteria called botulism. Symptoms of botulism usually start with weakness of the muscles that control the eyes, face, mouth, and throat. This weakness may spread to the neck, arms, torso, and legs. Botulism also can weaken the muscles involved in breathing, which can lead to difficulty breathing and even death. Your son may need weeks or months for a full recovery. Can you please tell me how this happened? This all happened because your son has been consuming a product called pink sauce, which has milk with a known pH levels, and raw honey, which is listed on the label. He ate so many pink sauces that caused him to end up here. Oh my god. That idiot is killing his own health. Damn it Stevie. How disgusting do you think it will be yummy to eat a lot of contaminated pink sauces? I had to pay a lot of money for your treatment because of your disgusting actions. What were you thinking? 
I charge the pay plus, and it tastes so amazing that I order a hundred of them. Five hundred of them? How much did it cost? It cost twenty dollars for one copy. And since it's a hundred copies, it's two thousand dollars. Two thousand fucking dollars. You spent so much on my credit card that you got yourself in big trouble. You're grounded. Go to your room right now or I will slap you just like Will Smith slaps Chris Rock in the face at the Oscars. Okay, okay. I don't want that kind of meme. So I'm not even sure that the pink sauce is still being sold or being shut down. Well, no, the pink sauce will now be sold commercially by Dave's Gourmet Sauces. And I guess the sauce was probably rebounded. Bruh.